many learners with dyslexia struggle with spelling and or getting their ideas out of their heads and down onto the page or paper. The iPad is a wonderful accessibility feature called Enable Dictation. Enable Dictation allows the learner to enter text using their voice instead of the keyboard. This works across many apps. What a huge bonus this is if you're struggling with writing and spelling. So let's make sure it's switched on before trying it out. Let's go to settings and you're not going to find this one under accessibility. You're going to find it under general. So under general, you are looking for keyboard. And once we've got our um, keyboard up, let's scroll down all the way down until we see dictation, enable dictation. And we're just clicking on enable dictation. OK, that's us. Ready to go. Let's open a keynote. OK, now here is a learner who definitely cannot spell or indeed use a keyboard. He is just going to tap where he wants the text and then tap the microphone icon beside the space bar. My name is Kianos and I am 16 years old, full stop. I have short, comma, curly grey hair and large green eyes, full stop. Now don't forget, if Kianos wasn't able to type in his text, he may not be able to readily read it back. So teach the learner to always listen back to what has been written. Let's use our speech controller. Selected. Body. Text box. My name is Carlos and I am 16 years old. I have short, currently grey hair and large green eyes. Hmm. Well, um, it's not too bad, but I could hear there it's got my name wrong. And I didn't mean currently. I wanted curly. So I am just going to type in my name or just now, and I'm going to see if I can use my enable dictation to change that. Curly. And I'm going to listen to that again. So where's my speech controller gone? Selected. Body. Text box. My name is Pianus and I am 16 years old. I have short, curly grey hair and large green eyes. OK, so that's not too bad, but that's not how I say my name. It's not Kianos, it's Kianos. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to change the pronunciation of Kianos. Now that you're going to find in accessibility back into spoken content. And this time we're... In our spoken content, down at the bottom, you can see pronunciations. So I'm going to tap on the plus button at the right hand side and I'm going to type in the word I want. Now, remembering that some learners may need you to type this in and I'm going to tell the iPad how I want this pronounced. Kianos. That gives me a choice to listen to. Kianos. 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 Oh, that's the one for me. Done. Kianos. Kianos. Definitely. So, this time, when I'm back in my keynote and I'm using my speech controller. Selected. Body. Text box. My name is Kianos and I am 16 years old. I have short, curly grey hair and large green eyes. And that makes me happy because that's how I pronounce my name. So let's try that one more time. Let's try the enable dictation about my city. Pressing on the microphone. I live in Pollock Shields, which is an area in the south of the city Glasgow. Full stop. New paragraph. Glasgow 
is a large city in the west coast of Scotland. Full stop. It has a population of... Hmm, I don't know the population of Glasgow. So I'm going to use my enable dictation. I'm going to go to Google. And again, remember we said we're going to use it across apps. I'm going to tap the microphone. Population of Glasgow, Scotland. Okay, five, nine, eight, uh, six hundred thousand. Back to my keynote. Six hundred thousand. Okay, so that's um, using it in Keynote. I just want to show you here, remember, across all apps, here's an example of a dyslexic learner. Primary seven, so upper primary school, and writing, a procedural bit of writing. You can see by, on the left, his handwritten um, notes for that. And I don't think that um, the presentation, I don't think he'd be very happy with the presentation, although the content is fine. Being given um, a template in pages and being able to dictate gives him the kind of presentation on the right. So, if you can think of a learner who may benefit from enable dictation, don't forget to check on, to check that it is switched on in settings and it's not accessibility, it's general, keyboard and down to the bottom, the enable dictation.